Hey guys, waiting for spring to come? Winter is over, the birds are singing, the snow has almost melted, and the only thing that reminds you of the cold season is the ice on the pond. That's where we're going to shoot today. Now the ice is much more dangerous than in January or February because the heat has caused it to crack and melt. So I strongly advise you not to go out on the ice, and even more so, not to repeat what you have seen on the screen. That's why we make videos, so you can watch and get answers to interesting questions. Today, we are going to test alternative methods of making holes in the ice. And we will test four different ways of melting ice on a body of water. Let's get down to business. For the test, we'll need welding termite pencil or breech pen, a giant salt crystal. We'll even try alcohol and a big hot metal ball. I think it's fair to start with salt. After all, we use this stuff more often than thermite pencils. Just for starters, instead of a giant crystal, we'll use a simpler version, table salt, just in case salt on ice doesn't work at all. We will start with a small pile of salt. You don't need a lot of salt because the reaction is not only visible, but also audible. The ice starts to crack literally from the first second. It looks like the effect is going to be fantastic. After just half an hour, the salt had made a hole about a centimeter deep. That's pretty good for a small a pile of salt. The crystals have stuck together to form a single crust and now resemble ice itself. By the way, we wandered around a bit and found a fresh hole. The ice here is about 18 centimeters thick. Well, let's move on to bigger and more massive things. Yes, yes, we're talking about the salt giant. If ordinary salt does the job, this crystal must be really something, especially considering its weight and size. My hands are starting to freeze, so let's put the crystal on ice and wait for the results. Guys, it's only been 15 minutes and you can already see the distinct outline that our cube has left behind. I think it would be more impressive if we left it alone for a couple of hours and continued filming. How about learning about breech pen? For those who don't know, it's a special mixture with an incredibly high burning temperature that can reach up to 5000 Fahrenheit. Well, that's what the instructions are, which will only read if something goes wrong. In fact, this thing is very dangerous. It cannot be extinguished with water, and the burning of the thermite composition requires no oxygen at all. They say you can make a hole in concrete with a pencil like this, let alone a sheet of metal or some ice like we have. Still, it's interesting to see how it works, so we'll give it a go. Protective equipment must always be remembered. In this case, welding gloves and a homemade holder. Burner in hand, let's light it up. Now that's a fire show. By the way, I forgot to mention that the burn was supposed to last 20 seconds according to the plan. In practice, it turned out to be less, and noticeably less. But even this short time was enough to melt the ice by 5 centimeters. Admittedly, not much, but there were a few more of the same pencils in stock. We don't waste any time and start the second attempt immediately. We will burn the same hole to improve the result, not to start all over again. A, the first time was even better. In this case, the breech pen just flew out of the hole, and holding something like that to keep it from flying out was a bit scary. It's a good thing we still have a pencil. All our hopes were pinned on that.
this is clearly not our day. Things that burn under almost any circumstances exploded on contact with water. We ended up with burnt trousers and 13.5 centimeters of melted ice. In a small hole we managed to make, we found the remains of a piece of copper formed by the explosion of thermite when it was submerged in water. From the outside, the piece of alloy looks small, but in reality, it is quite weighty. To sum up the results of the termite pencils, it's obvious that although the thing is really powerful, it's dangerous to sink ice with it. But if you get at least 100 likes, I'll figure out where to use them. For example, I will film the confrontation between the breech pen and the salt crystal and maybe even try to melt some concrete. In general, there are a lot of uses. If you give us likes, we'll give you a video, okay? Everyone has probably forgotten this, but we still have a big metal ball hidden away. But to activate it, it needs to be red hot. Since the ball is not small, we need burners. And instead of small gas cylinder, we'll use a 12 liter gas cylinder. I think that should be enough. We needed to heat the balloon for 30 minutes. You see, it's cold, it's snowing, and the temperature of the ball can't stay as high as we'd like. By the way, if we are being watched by bloggers like us, here is a fly hack for filming in similar weather conditions. Unbutton hoods from jackets and nothing will get wet. Meanwhile, the ball has already warmed up to the right temperature and is ready to dive onto the ice. Immediately after contact, the ice started to melt and splash. The temperature is high after all. The dive was reminiscent of the scenes in Terminator. In the end, I managed to burn a hole about 10 centimeters deep. Not bad, but there's still 8 centimeters to the hole so you can't catch any fish. By the way, the water that came out as a result of the melting is very warm. I hope nobody has forgotten the salt crystal we left somewhere at the beginning of the video. Look, this is what 5 hours of this giant's life looked like in time-lapse mode. As a result, there was a small slide on one side of this spot, and on the other side the ice cracked and collapsed, and the hole itself reached a depth of 8 centimeters. An 18 centimeter layer of ice is not going to give up. Let's leave the crystal alone for a few more hours and get on with the alcohol. There's no point in just pouring it on the surface, so let's make a small depression. Here and send as many as four bottles of medical preparation. After a few hours, the hole had grown, but not as deep as we needed, but wide. We even tried to set the liquid on fire, on the camera, which is hard to see, but it burned quite well. However, this would have had no effect on the result, as it would not have been possible to melt the ice into water. What's up with the salt? Here's another 4 hours of time lapse, guys.
It's getting dark outside and the cube still hasn't gone underwater. We'll have to come back tomorrow. We wonder what's going to happen in the end. The morning doesn't start with coffee. A square hole has been left in the place of the giant salt crystal, which means that the salt has melted the 18-centimeter layer of ice. You can congratulate us in the comments, but in the meantime, we give this method a plus. And I hope you'll click the like button below this video. And don't forget about the bell. That's all for now. Bye-bye.